Hi everyone, and welcome back, it's James. I've got a brand new router. It's a TP-Link Archer AX73. Let's open it, yeah! I bought this for about 11,000 Japanese yen. That's because I'm in Japan. And that's about $100 US. Here in Japanese, it says, it is the number one router for the last nine years. 4,804 plus 574 megabytes per second. It has a digital band. It's a six stream gigabit Wi-Fi router. Let's open it. This router claims that it will connect to the internet at fast speeds. If you live in a three-story house, you won't have any problems using this router. If you live in a condo or in an apartment, that's 4LDK, that's like a three-bedroom apartment, you won't have any problems. That's just my guess. And you can connect up to 80 smartphones or tablets to this device. Excellent. And there is a super smart CPU. It's a Wi-Fi 6 CPU built into it. Okay, let's just get to it. I'm going to do a speed test before and after. I hope I remember to do that. Ta-da! I'm just going right to the router. It's Let's get a ruler. It's about 29 centimeters across and 15 centimeters in width. Okay, and uh, and when you set it down, it's flat down like this. I'm going to remove this plastic This is brand new. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six antennas. And they're all wrapped. So, yeah, they're all wrapped. I'll just get them off, off camera. I've got two more of these seals to, to remove. Now, these are actually tape, so be careful not to pull too hard. You don't want to damage your antenna. So remove the tape carefully for each. It's a TP-Link and these antennas are adjustable. Up. Okay, don't pull too hard. Okay, you can't go down. You can't go down the opposite way. Okay, always handle these things carefully. Okay, just like on the box. Okay, I like the design of it. It's cool. My current router doesn't have any antennas. Here you have the logo TP-Link in the center. And on the front are the indicator lights. And on the side, this is the left side, there is a USB 3.0. And on the back, there is an LED button, a WPS button, a Wi-Fi button, and a reset. And there are four LAN ports, a one port, and the power. And that's it. And at the bottom is the code, okay? The SSD and the password, which I cannot show you. It is light.
It's cool. Okay. I'll just put this aside and let's see what else. There's some documentation. Oops. This is the SSD and password. <laughs> and some other documentation. The user. This is the setup manual. A LAN cable. And the power. Okay, let's get this set up. Before I get to it, take a look at the instructions. It's in Japanese because I'm in Japan. So it's very easy to understand. And by the way, I will do a speed test before and after. I'm going to perform a speed test on my current A-term. Now I'm downstairs and the router is upstairs. Download speed is 5.15. pretty slow and upload speed is 9.68 let's see if the new router will speed up everything you are looking at my current old router it's an NEC a term it's an a term WG 1200 HP it's still hooked up I am going to remove the entire thing I'm going to replace it with the new router and I'm going to show you how to do it if you live in Japan, you may have a setup like this. I know it's messy over here. I'm going to show you how to set it up if you live in Japan. My current NEC modem is very old. All right, so you're going to unplug the power from the old router, then pull out these plugs, remove the power cable, and switch off the power, okay? Just switch it off. Unplug it from the power bar. I'm going to clean up this area. This LAN cable is for my office. I don't use Wi-Fi at my desktop. So I'm going to plug this into my new router. Check out the setup. I got three LAN cables plugged in. I've got my WAN cable that's connected to my modem. Actually, that unit up there. And there is the power outlet. And then I'm going to switch it on. I am going to turn it on for the first time. There we go. First we have power and then we should have two of these bandwidth lights. And then the next one is internet. Yeah, the next one is internet connection. So wait up. Oh, there they are. We've got good signals. And the next one is internet connection. I need to go to my computer to set it up. The fourth bar is orange. To me, it's orange. For you, it might be yellow, but for me, it's orange. And that means it's not connected to the internet yet. So I need to go to my computer. All bars must be green. So let's do that. I'm downstairs in my office on the first floor and as you can see I don't have internet connection yet so this is the way to set it up you're going to open up a browser I'm going to use Firefox I find it more reliable than the others go to the URL and type HTTP colon slash slash one two nine dot one six eight dot one dot one or just leave out the HTTP colon slash slash. It's up to you. But if you follow the instructions on the manual, this is what you need to type. So HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.1. Enter. It reads TP link AX5400. Wi-Fi 6 router. So, 
you need to select this. You're going to create a new password for your TP-Link. It can be anything. Once you input it, write it down somewhere. For this purpose, I will type in admin. Okay, will it allow it? No, you need to have six to 32 ADMI. No good, let's say admin 2021. Okay, if you want to see your password, press this eye open. Confirm it, ADMIN2021. I'm going to change it later. Start. So it's in Japanese, I can change it to English or other languages. Look at this, look at all the languages. English. Perfect. There's no internet connection. Everything is connected. Yep. Okay. Okay. From this page, you need to connect to the internet with your provider. So I will select internet. Internet connection type. We want PPP little o e. And then we will type in the username and password. You will need your username and password provided by your internet service provider. So if you live in Japan, you'll have a contract with a Japanese internet provider. You should look for Shonin ID, that is your user ID and password. And it looks like these characters in Japanese. Okay, I cover them because it's private. So you're going to type in your user ID. Okay, that's the username. And this says password, which means password. And you would type that in as well. And you will need your customer ID. So I'm going to type in these two. I'm going to open up Google, YouTube. Oh yeah, it looks good. It's working. How about TP Link Archer AX73? And there is my router. Yep, it looks good. Okay, now to test wireless. I'm using my iPad 12. And I want TP Link. Either one. There are two TP links. I could use either one. I'll select this one. As you can see, it is not connected. It is not connected. Shit, it's not even charged. Okay, my pen is not charged, so I'll use my finger. I need to type in the password. Join Yes, I am connected. Yes, I am connected. Now to test it out, I will go to YouTube. Oh yeah, it works. Okay, let's just browse. Sorry about the glare. How about YouTube? I'll type in unboxing 
for you, James. And here's my page. I also have another channel. It's called Wow, That's Japan. Hi everyone and welcome back to James. I got myself a new motorcycle helmet. Perfect. Let's check it out. Wow. Okay, it's time to do a speed test. Time for a speed test. I'm in my office on the main floor. Wow. It's really moving fast. 32.23. The download speed is 32.23 and the and the upload speed is 22.37. That's a lot faster than before. The download speed is 32.23 and the upload speed is 22.37. That's a big difference. I also forgot to check if my router needs a firmware update. So maybe I need to do that. If I go back to my router and go to advanced. Yes, I do need a firmware update. How do you get here? You go to advance or you can see up here. It says I need an update. So I'll click that. And do I want an auto update? Yes. Okay. And online update? Yes. Okay. It'll take three minutes. No problem. So I'll just let this go ahead. Everything works. And I will do a speed test in a moment. The firmware update is done. The firmware update is done. Okay, I can just get out of this. And now to do a speed test. Okay, now to do a speed test. I'm in my office on the main floor. Man, it's really moving. Wow, the download speed is now 18.58. And the upload speed is, well, it's moving fast, 11.18. Wow, much faster than before. Let's go outside and test it. Going outside. My router is upstairs on the second floor. So I'm going out to the back. raining. It's moving fast. Oh yeah. Download is 34.03. Oh, upload is moving fast too. 24.70. Okay, let's test out YouTube. Helmet is Gohan. I've got a package from AliExpress. I ordered a waterproof crossbody bag for men. Let's check it out. Yeah. Wow. No problem. It works. It works beautifully. I'm getting great Wi-Fi strength out here. You see the bars? They're nice and full. I'm going back upstairs. I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.